any car needs to have brakes that work properly. You try your best to get the brake pads changed and do an occasional system check to make sure everything is operating as it should. People may be curious about the signs of a malfunctioning brake light switch, though, as you have no control over the switches and sensors in the system. Having said that, you can identify a faulty brake light switch and replace it to restore brake lights to working order. In this short video, we'll examine the most common signs of this malfunctioning component and go over how to test the brake light switch. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Car won't start. You can still start the car with a broken brake light switch if it has a traditional keyed ignition. If your car has a push button start, though, you may have problems. You might not be able to start the engine because you have to press the brake pedal. The system won't start if it doesn't detect that you are applying pressure to the pedal. Numerous car models with automatic transmissions may also exhibit this. Brake lights won't come on. A malfunctioning brake light switch may result in the lights not working. The lights won't turn on if the switch isn't picking up your pedal movement. When other drivers are unaware that you are braking, this presents a risk on the road. Illuminated Dashboard Warning Lights When the brake light switch malfunctions, multiple dashboard lights may illuminate because it is a component of multiple systems. The traction control or ABS lights are the most widely used lights. Nevertheless, the check engine light is also visible. Usually, this only illuminates when the brake switch is giving you problems starting the car. Any illuminated light should be investigated immediately and treated with caution. Brake lights stay on the brake light staying on after you switch off the car is one of the most typical signs of a broken brake light switch. The short that causes the system to believe you are still applying pressure to the brake pedal is the source of this malfunction. You never want to walk away from this circumstance. It causes a parasitic drain on the battery in addition to prematurely wearing out the brake lights. Gear selector can't be moved. You must have your foot on the brake pedal in order to move the gear selector out of park. You might not be able to move the shifter into a different position if the system isn't understanding your command. Unfortunately, that means you'll be stuck where you are. If you can replace the switch at the location you are at, you can get back on the road. How to test. The brake light switch is conveniently located, making diagnosis and replacement easy. It can be tested with a multimeter. Removal is not required for diagnostic purposes. Reading your car's service manual should always be your first step, especially since there are two ways to do this procedure. When depressing and releasing the pedal, certain vehicles require you to check the voltage at the switch connector. It is necessary to test the switch continuity while applying and releasing pressure to certain car models. If the brake light switch isn't receiving voltage, a blown fuse might be the only issue. Fortunately, once you determine which fuse needs to be replaced, fixing this is simple. It's also possible that your car has two switches. You will have to test both of them in this situation. The correct procedure should be described in the service manual. Replacement cost. The cost to replace a brake light switch can range from $75 to $350. The labor at a professional shop could cost anywhere from $50 to $250, while the parts could cost you $25 to $100. Depending on the kind of car you drive and the local shop rates, these costs change. But you can save money on labor by replacing the brake light switch yourself, it's not that difficult. Depending on where the switch is located, you should only need 5 minutes to a few hours in total. There are some models with an odd configuration, but most of the switches are in convenient locations. It can occasionally be necessary to remove other parts in order to access the switch, which makes the task harder to finish. Having said that, a malfunctioning brake light switch should never be ignored. You will shorten the battery's life if it's causing the brake lights to remain on. Driving on the road puts you in danger if your brake lights don't come on at all. In addition, if you are unable to operate the push-button start system or shift the gear selector, you might be stuck. It only makes sense to do this repair as soon as problems arise because of how inexpensive it is. It's unlikely that you'll need to do the same service again because the switch ought to last the entire life of the car. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.